Today we're going to do the nasal label groove with a filler called Juvederm Plus and we're just going to fill in the nasal label line. We're going to inject slightly medial to the groove so it fills in the volume. Our model didn't have Juvederm or Restylane or any dermal filler done in the past so we cannot use the push forward technique so I'm just going to use the uh, linear threading technique today. So here we go. I'll inject right there. Now it's very important that you can see the needle if you lift the skin but not the color of the needle. If you're too superficial you're going to cause some blanching and that wouldn't be good. So we're all the way there. And now we're going to inject some of the Juvederm. And it's a very viscous substance, so you gotta push pretty hard to get some in, but we're layering down some here. And then we change the direction a little bit so we can fill up that little triangle shape. Loss of volume just at the top of that groove. See that filling in? We're just going to do a little bit and then later on if we need to even it out we can. Now I'm going to come slowly and follow the groove on the way out. Good. Now we need to mold it and make sure it's even. Open your mouth just a little bit. Right here. So it's nicely and even and make sure that there's no nodules left. The uh, client can continue to mold it for the next 24 to 48 hours to make sure it's even. So we just put a very small volume to be exactly 0.1 cc of Juvederm in the nasal label groove. Very subtle because we want to continue and try to even out. But you probably can already see significant difference between the left and right side. So let's move on to the right and try to even it out. Lift the needle again so you see the needle but not the color of the needle and that means you're at the right depth. We're right there on the nose so we're going to inject some filler. We do a little bit of the fanning technique where are we gonna fill that whole little triangle there? Good, so that's kind of filled up. We're going to slowly come back and deposit some more filler on the way out. We want to retract, stop injecting prior to retracting, otherwise we're going to get some spillage and be too superficial. So there we go. We're going to mold it again. Massage it very well. And then we're going to see where we need some more. 